guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and make a flan. I've never made it in my life. We're gonna go ahead and leave uh, the ingredients on the description below. As well, we're gonna make dinner. And um, I got an eggplant, which I've never tried in my life, nor have I cooked it in my life. I like cooking, so we'll see how this turns out. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and crack the eggs in this bowl. I, I'm cracking them like just so that there's like a little hole because you know Easter's coming so we have like a whole stack of eggs right now so I'm just gonna crack them and this bowl just to make sure I'm not getting any eggshells so now that all the eggs are cracked uh, you're gonna go ahead and set them aside and I'm gonna go ahead and get the condensed milk. I'm gonna open it. Oh, and then also, you know, I grab my blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the condensed milk. I get the evaporated milk. What's the difference between the evaporated milk and the condensed milk? The pretty milk is thinner. Tastes different. Also, I wasn't supposed to open it all the way. I just remembered that, but oh well, it's okay. Alrighty, and so then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just go ahead and pour Wait. the eggs inside. And you're gonna go ahead and just put it to blend. So something I forgot to put is uh, the vanilla extract, which is, which is just a tablespoon. So the reason I blended it was because if you just mix the condensed milk and the evaporating milk together, it'll just end up chunking up. So it's better just to blend it, just so it'll just come out a little bit more liquidated. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and get a frying pan just so you could um, caramelize the sugar. And while you're doing that, you're gonna be preheating your oven to 350 degrees. It's like rocks in there. <laughs> Alrighty, so once the sugar is pretty much liquid, you want to have it at this color. If you want it darker, it is going to make the flan taste a little bit more bitter. If it's lighter, you know, it tastes a little bit more sweeter, but you want it at this color right here. Where is it? <laughs> well, you're going to put it in the bottom of the pan where you're going to be cooking the flan. So in this case, it's going to be this one. Water in here. And then, what's next? And then you're gonna go ahead and put oil on top of it and put coals in it. And you're also gonna be shaking on it every 15 minutes just to make sure that there's still water in the pan that it's in. There's no more water inside the, the pan itself. You're gonna go ahead and just grab a cup and put some more water in there. There has to be water in there. Uh, but your yeah, oven has to be humid. So earlier when we were breaking the eggs and cracking the eggs and putting it in the mixing bowl, we were cracking them so that they have that little hole in there, mainly because we use these eggs for Easter. We put confetti in them, some flowers, some big uh, 
not baking powder, <laughs> baby powder. <laughs> and we pretty much just have them for the kids, for the adults, just to like, you know, crack them on everyone's head during Easter time. How many eggshells do you have so far? Uh, uh, three full ones of these and then half of this one. Oh, Which no, is? Half of, I don't know, 18. 18. So 18 times three. Plus half. Plus half. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna start, go ahead and making dinner. I'm, wow. I'm gonna start making dinner. Uh, we're gonna make some mashed potatoes with some sauteed eggplant. Uh, I got carrots, mushrooms, asparagus, of course, eggplant. Wash everything, and what I mean everything. And I like peeling my mushrooms, so we're gonna go ahead and peel the mushrooms. I already peeled two, but I need to put this to boil because we gotta make mashed potatoes do washing. I'm gonna put your potatoes to boil. So I got two, four, six, eight, I got nine potatoes in there. So it's gonna be quite a lot of mashed potatoes. So if you just let that boil. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and cut the asparagus. I would say like about an inch from the stem. Cause that, all this part right here is dead. And you don't want the dead stuff in your food, so. Oh, it should look like this. The asparagus does come with two rubber bands. I only take the bottom out and leave the top so they could all stay together. So when I cut it, all stays together and I won't have to be fighting with it, holding it in my hand. And now you wash it. Do rinse out your knife and your cutting board. Chop some onions. I cut the onion in half and then I cut it into half circles. All right, so so far we have carrots, eggplant, asparagus, mushroom. I forgot what the mushroom was called, onions. And that's it. Those are basically the vegetables. Oh, and the potatoes back there. The way I cut my carrots are in, in, on an angle like this. You could just hold your carrot, point into the cutting board your knife, and then you just cut it in angle. That should look like that. I don't know, mix it up, put some shapes on it. Not just cut stuff, you know? Are right, you gonna mince the garlic. It's just for flavor. Put your knife, smack it. All right, we're gonna start with the extra virgin oil. And you just leave it there for like a cool 30 seconds. I do, that's my flame right now. So if I wanna go up a little bit, that's fine. Cool 30 seconds. Then you're gonna put your eggplant. I'm going skin side first. That's because when I, like when I cut it, this is really spongy. So I don't want the eggplant to just suck every single drop of oil because I still have more veggies. Eggplant is cooking, garlic goes in, more. and then I'll put my carrots and onions in here. Once you put in your carrots and your onions, you wanna stir it for like, I'll say like four minutes, because keep in mind that your carrots, that's the hardest vegetable that we're putting in here. So that's gonna keep on cooking as we go. So what's next? A handful of asparagus.
Last but not least, the mushroom. My favorite part. Oh yeah, she loves mushrooms. Alright, so while all that is cooking, we're gonna season it with a little bit of salt. Not too much because we're gonna put soy sauce. Then you're gonna put uh, pepper. Alright, and after you put salt and pepper, you're gonna add soy sauce. Like, put them in but yeah, that was ready and good. We're gonna move to the mashed potatoes. All you need is butter, of course, the potatoes, uh, milk, salt, and pepper. Uh, I use a stick of butter. Any butter is fine, whichever butter, butter you want to use. So that's my stick. And so you're gonna melt the butter first so you won't have chunks of butter, and then you're gonna be struggling to melt it. So you just wait for the butter to be melted, then you're gonna add your potatoes, and then you're gonna go ahead and salt it and pep with, and then you're gonna add a pepper, and then you add milk. And then you just, you know, if you wanna add cheese, you could add cheese as well. I personally love to add cheese. And that's what your mashed potato is supposed to look like. Not too watery, not too chunky. Hold on, let me focus it. There you go. Smells freaking good. Mm, tastes fire. Mm. So we just finished eating dinner and the flan is finally ready and my boyfriend was able to flip it. It's kind of heavy. Look at it. So pretty. It does look pretty. Alright guys, so I'm about to eat this. This looks like the best flan I've ever made in my entire life. It's so soft and nice and clear. And so I was cooking with us. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel.